This is a question set video on simplification. All you have to do in this chapter is to simplify things and find out a final answer. Let's do that for our first question. Let us simplify this expression and see what it gets as a final answer. So we'll have to apply the BODMAS rule here. So bracket over division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So in this expression we have two operations with same priority. One is this multiplication and another is this division. But as a rule if we have operations with same priority we solve the left one first. So let's solve the left one first. So this is it. It equals to 100 times 10 is 1000 minus 100 plus 2000 divided by 100. Now in this expression we have division as the highest priority operation. So this is equal to 1000 minus 100 plus 2000 divided by 100. We can cancel out two zeros here. So plus 20. Now again we have operations with same priorities. So we'll solve the left one first. So this is the one we're going to solve first. So 1000 minus 100 is equal to 900 plus 20 and which is equal to 900 plus 20 is equal to 920. So we have our answer right there 920. Let us solve question number two and this is quite an easy one. So firstly we'll have to remove the brackets and whenever you have situations like this when there are two brackets besides each other or two numbers besides each other and there's a space so you always consider this as multiplication. So this is equal to 5 minus 5 times 4 times 2 times minus 1 by 2 times 3 by 4. Now you can solve this traditionally from left to right or you can cancel out terms. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled out, 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. So what remains is minus 5 times minus 1 times 3. And this is, again we'll solve the left one first because we have same priority operations. So minus 5 times minus 1 is equal to plus 5 times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. So there you go, there's our answer, 15. Let us move on to question number three. What mathematical operation should be in place of this box in this expression? So you, you have this box. You have to find out what kind of operation will come in this place. Will it be multiplication, division or subtraction or addition? Well, we cannot perform other operations until we know this operation because always you know that priority comes into the scene. So you, you'll have to isolate this thing first. So let's do that. You know we can move this to to the right of this. So we have 2 box 6 minus 12 divided by 4 is equal to this 2 goes to the right which becomes minus 2. So 11 minus 2 is 9. Now this is basically 2 box 6 minus 12 by 4 is equal to 9. So we can move this 12 by 4 to the right of equals 2. So let's do that. 2 box 6 is equal to 9 plus 12 by 4. Now you can solve this 12 by 4. 4 3s are 12. So we have 9 plus 3. Therefore we have now 2 box 6 is equal to 9 plus 3 is 12. So 2 times 6 is 12. So in this box a multiplication should come. Other operations do not work because nothing yields 12 rather than 2 times 6. So the correct answer to this question is multiplication. Question number 4. You have to simplify the following expression. 
Well, whenever you see such bar-like things over an expression, you'll have to solve that part first. So let's solve this part first. Let us have other parts as they are. So 8 minus 5 is 3. Then we close the brackets. Now in this, you know that whenever you have a lot of brackets in your expression, you solve the parentheses first. You solve the round brackets first. So you'll solve these first. So this comes out as the other terms are as they are. So 7 minus 3 is 4. This is multiplication. Now this is equal to, now you'll have to solve the brackets again. So in this, you'll solve this first because braces have priority over brackets. So 18 minus 5 minus 6 plus 2 times 4. So in this, you'll have to solve the multiplication first. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. So 5 minus 14 is equal to 18 minus solving this bracket first. So 5 minus 14 is minus 9. So 18 minus of minus 9 is equal to 18 plus 9. That is equal to 27. So we have the answer as option C. Let us end this video by solving question number 5. Well, you have mixed fractions in the denominator. So firstly, solve the mixed fractions in the brackets. So this is equal to 1 by, how do you solve a mixed fraction? So if you have a mixed fraction, in this case it is 2, 1 by 3. So the simple fraction equivalent to this mixed fraction is 3 times 2 plus 1. So this is 6 plus 1 by 3. And the other one is 1 upon 4 times 1 plus 3 by 4. So 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 by 4. This is again equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 is 7 by 3 plus 1 by 7 by 4. So this 3 can go up and this 4 can also go up. This is equal to 3 by 7 plus 4 by 7, which is equal to 7 by 7. That is 1. So you don't have 1 as an option here. 